right, so today we will be making hot pogo bombs. The ingredients that you'll need for a hot pogo bomb will be some almond bark. I've chosen some vanilla flavored white chocolate almond bark. Obviously we'll need our hot cocoa powder. Mini marshmallows are a must with hot cocoa. We will be using a peppermint combination. So I have some peppermint that we will crush up and add to the mixture. And for a little bit of color, red food coloring. Some of the equipment that we'll need today is a double boiler. This one is specifically made to uh, melt hot chocolate, or excuse me, to melt chocolate. This one is specifically made to melt hot chocolate. We've got some parchment paper. We've got some hot cocoa bomb molds. This will create the sphere that will contain the hot chocolate. And a mortar and pestle to crush up our peppermint. We're gonna take our chocolate and our, and we'll add it to our melter. You're gonna wanna wait until it completely melts before continuing. Now, while we're waiting for our, hot, our chocolate to melt, we're gonna take our peppermint and add them to the mortar and pestle and get them nice and crunched up. This powder will be added to the hot cocoa powder and the marshmallows that'll be inside the cocoa bomb. It's a little messy when we first start out because we've got to break it up into little pieces. And if you're like me, I like to not completely crush it so that we have a little bit of powder but a little bit of the candy pieces left over for color. All right, now that we have, now that we have our chocolate melted, we're gonna add it to our molds. We'll take a little bit in the silicone stir and add it into here. We wanna get the sides nice and covered. And you wanna make sure that you can't see the silicone underneath the, cho the white chocolate. Otherwise it's too thin and your sphere is gonna be a little thin in that that segment. Well, it'll, it'll either have a hole or it'll be very weak. It's a little bit easier when you, when it cools down a little bit, it'll thicken up and it'll actually stick to the walls a little bit better. Dragging from the bottom up to the edges. And then we'll wait and let our molds set. While we're waiting the molds to, for molds to set, I am going to add a little bit of red food dye into my leftover chocolate. This will add a pink color to the rest of this. All right, now that our chocolate has set inside the molds, we're gonna start by carefully taking them out. I'm gonna take two of these half molds I'm going to set them back into my molds just to hold on to it. This so you guys can see. Now we're going to fill these up. Actually, I'm going to set them on my tray so you can see them more clearly. Now we're going to fill these up with hot cocoa, peppermint, and marshmallows. I'm going to fill these up with three tablespoons we can. We'll probably end up only with two. 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 We'll take some of our peppermint, add it on top. This is a little bit messier than our well, we could, but we'll just, we're just showing you. Okay. Add a few marshmallows to that top. Now we'll take these, what we can do, 
is coat the edges with some of our chocolate. This will provide that seal. You can also melt the edges. But I like using our colorful If that doesn't work for you, you can also melt your edges. Get them together. You want to make sure you have a good seal so there's no holes like this. Otherwise, your chocolate will escape. So now that our chocolate has melted, we had to redo the chocolate because it uh, did not cool. The, uh, it did not cool correctly. Um, so I just used all of my pink chocolate. We're going to add to one half of these uh, some cocoa powder. We're going to add some of our peppermint. And finally, we're going to add a couple of our marshmallows. Now, since these are dry, we're going to have a little bit of issue just setting them on there. So a cool little hack you can do is set them on a warm, um, ob uh, warm object, not burn yourself. Um, it'll, melt, it'll melt the outer ridges of that, and you can just set it right on top and let them melt together. We'll do that with the second one. Careful not to burn yourself. It's melted on top and we'll just set that down on here. Now we'll let them dry and become solid and you'll have yourself a hot cocoa bomb. All right, so we just made some hot cocoa bombs. Um, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more content. If you would also like a hot chocolate bomb, we will have a form up in the next few weeks. Um, we will have a limited quantity, um, and it'll be one hot cocoa bomb per family. Um, but if you'd like to try one out, we'll have one available for you for uh, to sign up for. Thank you. Have a great day.